we are evaluating judges in the United States District Court for the Western District of Kentucky, the United States Bankruptcy Court for the Western District of Kentucky, magistrates for the Western District of Kentucky, and also the Jefferson District Court uh, and the District Court senior status judges. It is fairly unique uh, anywhere in the country that judges are evaluated by a local bar association. Two main purposes of a judicial evaluation are to help the judges understand for themselves certain areas that, that perhaps they're not performing well in and areas where they could improve their judicial performance. Perhaps more important is our goal to assist the uh, a public in assessing the qualifications and the credentials and the performance of the judges that they elect uh, in Jefferson County on a regular basis. Anybody who saw the judicial ballot this past May, and it's going to be much larger in uh, November because if there were just two in a race, they weren't on this last ballot. But there's this criticism that they don't know how to select a good judge. And that's understandable in a county like Jefferson where we have uh, 40 trial judges and three appellate judges, two court of appeals judges and a Supreme Court justice. Survey process started in March of this year when members of the Kentucky Bar Association who had Jefferson County contact addresses were contacted, uh, informed about the upcoming judicial evaluation process, and invited to participate if they were qualified, uh, meaning if they had that substantial level of professional contact with uh, one of the judges evaluating this year's group. We take the 19 attributes and we put them into uh, categories. So you'll see a set of graphs for general satisfaction with performance, and that's just the result of one attribute. Judicial temperament, which is the summary of five different attributes. Court management, uh, four attributes are included in that category. Judicial integrity, six attributes. Legal ability, civil cases and criminal cases are one attribute each. I'm confident that the results that we get back on these evaluations are a fair representation and a statistically valid representation of that target population. Because if it wasn't, we'd be seeing uh, uh, the same judge's performance from one year to the next fluctuating uh, with you know, no reason for it. And we just don't see that. The results are generally consistent um, and uh, understandable, and they hang together very well. So uh, I'm confident that the sample sizes are adequate to be a fair uh, and statistically valid reading. I can remember hearing a disc jockey uh, on midday radio about four years ago saying, why don't these lawyers do something to help the public? How are we supposed to know who's a good judge and who's a bad judge? And I'm thinking of all the work that all of us are going through to, to, to get these types of uh, uh, evaluations out and the bar posts that we have. This. Uh, is not a popularity contest. We hear that, I think, after every evaluation. It is an earnest and honest attempt by the Louisville Bar Association to evaluate judges, first to assist them, and secondly, uh, to help the public in making sure that they are putting the right people on the bench at election time.